Coming up on this episode. We leave Cardiff. Adam gets panicky. Noise, help, something's happened. Ah, what? Oh, God. We motor a lot. However, we eventually find some wind. Neppy set up. We're nearly ready to go. Well, this is the morning of departure. I didn't know it was already on. Yeah, yeah this is the morning of departure. Uh, we're going in about 25 minutes. Yeah, it is. Uh, we're leaving about quarter to eight. Yeah. Probably yeah. see, I got no clothes on. Clothes on. A bit nervous, really, for yeah, anticipation, really, yeah, isn't it's it? It's always nervous leaving, um, leaving a safe haven like a marina or a harbour or Anchorage and going out to the sea. It's always only the Bristol Channel. <laughs> and even we're going to get ten knots at Easterly, but yeah, it is what it is, isn't it? Uh, yeah, exciting. He's <laughs> <laughs> nervous. Uh, okay, we're going to get ready now. Yeah. So this is the conditions out this morning. <clears throat> Got some nice clear sky so the solar panel will benefit beautifully. Neppy is all set up. Um, we got an easterly, the flags are flying a little bit on the boat, so <clears throat> yeah, we should have at least eight, ten knots. Um, Adam is just taking the main sail off, so the main sail hasn't been off for at least five months. Brath Marina, Brath Marina, this is Yacht Atlas, Yacht Atlas uh, coming over. Yacht Atlas Marina. Yeah, go ahead lads, uh, start, starting your trip this morning, eh? Yeah, we're starting this morning. Um, can we get a lockout? We're going to leave the berth in about five minutes, over. Yeah, that's absolutely no problem at all. I'll, uh, as soon as you've uh, cast your lines, just give us a quick, uh, quick shout and I'll get the gate to you.
Uh, we got out here a little bit early. I think we were a bit a bit too excited this morning. We're out by Ranny Spit on the end of Lavernock Point, and we got we're still punching. We're punching tide. Basically, the tide's against us for the next hour, so we are sailing into it. We're just treading water at the minute. Um, we could go over by the beach and drop the anchor, but by the time we do that and then leave again, there's no point. So as long as we're not going backwards, we'll be all right. As soon as the tide turns, we'll be out here ready and we'll smash down with the tide because at the moment it's a nice 10 knot easterly. <sighs> Quite choppy out here. Well, Bristol Channel choppy. What's that noise? What noise? Oh, the engine's on. It makes me panic all the time. What's that noise? Help! Something's happened! Ah, what? Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, we got the engine on. Uh, we've got to make it to Swansea, you see. Um, within the tide, so... The engine has had to go on, because there's no wind. Uh, we tried Nappy, uh, but... Yeah, there was not much wind, so she wasn't doing a very good job. She? So Neppy is a girl? Hmm, I don't know about that. Yeah. Uh, we're just off. Just off Barry, well, this old study hospital there, and there's Barry there, and then there's uh, Roost Point over there. So yeah, we need to average about five knots. So to get there before four o'clock and the tide turns. It is what it is, isn't it? Didn't expect much wind. 10 knots. It isn't. Here we are, we're just passing East Aberthaw Power Station, which is going to be de decommissioned, I believe, in a couple of years. And here is the um, cooling water tower. And you can see, I don't know if you can see, but the tide running out is uh, running out quite significantly. We are currently just on the motor on takeover and we're doing eight knots. After a long day of motoring, we finally made it to our anchorage at Mumbles Head. This is our anchorage for tonight. Swansea Bay. Just literally off Mumble's Head. Quite beautiful. Good morning everyone. It's the morning of day two. We had a lovely night stay here in uh, Swansea Bay by Mumbles Head. There was no um, wind and no swell as predicted overnight, which was lovely. It's a beautiful morning. There's a little breeze kicking in this morning. See the sun's out. Today we are heading off to Tembe. It's a run of 27 miles. We're hoping for a little bit of wind today, but there's not much predicted, so it may be a bit of a motor sail. But, uh, yeah, it is what it is, isn't it? It is. We sleep well. Yes, the face says it all. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, we had another long day of motoring on our way to Tembe. Time for a cup of tea and a coffee.
we are on our passage from Swansea Bay to Kemby. And Adam has decided to do a bit of um sorting out. Sorting out as he calls it. Too much stuff in this locker. Can't find anything. Um we are just entered in just a slight bit of rough water as you can uh, see. It's the tide. So yeah, we're doing not doing too bad. We got uh, six knots of a breeze and doing 4.8 knots, mainly due to the tide. But it's a beautiful day, absolutely beautiful. We got presents. Beautiful. Nice cushions, brand new soft cushions to go in the cockpit. <laughs> Look how big they are! Lovely. Big plump cushions. <laughs> Too big. <laughs> They're lovely. They're nice, aren't they? Yeah. somewhere around here, maybe off Caldy Island somewhere, or here, or off the beach of Tenby. Uh, it's about 27 miles, we're going for about an hour. Um, when we pass the Gower Peninsula, there's East Halwick Banks here. I don't know if you can see it. We're going to go on the inside up here. And then straight across across Camarthen Bay. We picked up a bit of um, a southerly wind at the minute. Hopefully that stays with us today. It's a lovely day. There is a fire in practice area here for the military in Camarthen Bay, but it is Saturday, so they shouldn't be firing. Normally in a weekday, if you stray into this area here, they'll phone you on the radio and say basically get out of the area because they're See, they're, they're practice firing, so you have to go around, but it shouldn't be an issue today. We've this is our second day, we've nearly made it to Tenby. Uh, we've had no wind all day. I should be speaking to the camera, we've had no wind all day, and now um, this uh, some rain clouds on the land is causing a little bit of wind, uh, so we're punching into the wind at the minute. Uh, we've picked an anchorage in Tenby, it's off Caldy Island. Uh, it's called Drinkim, Drinkim Bay, something like that. You might be able to see it on the camera. If you can hear me, it's a lot windy. Straight ahead is a sandy beach. We should be fine there for the night. There's no swell overnight, and the wind is a northerly overnight, so it should be nice there. I'm just gonna leave it on the bed. Might get something for supper. Well, we've arrived at Drink Drinkim Bay. I don't know, but yeah, it is beautiful off Cadley Island. Really nice anchorage here. It's been one of those days, isn't it? Really motoring all day and stuff. Again. Again. I've had an injury. Clip's got an injury. Oh, oh no. Well, all anchored up now. I tell you what, it doesn't take long for the decks to get dirty. It really doesn't. Put it on. Put on our snubber. Very clean, the water here. Beautiful. I'll settle down now. And uh, have some hot dogs. Delicious. What are you doing? Getting my nails. <laughs> Cutting your nails. Yeah. Is that your nail clippings? <laughs> <laughs> uh, he's having a pint of beer and cutting his nails. That's what Luke does of an evening. That's what everybody does in the evening. <laughs> <laughs>
just thought I'd take some footage for you as the sailing conditions are so perfect. 12 knots of breeze, close hauled with the Neptune wind vane. Uh, doing 5.5 knots down with the tide. In the beautiful sunny weather. What dreams are made of, nice and peaceful. And this is my shot. This is my, what I see from where I'm sitting at the moment. Quick update, we're on our way to Dale to shelter from these strong winds. We got a southwesterly, well, more, well, a bit more of a south-southwest wind coming up this way like this. So we're tacking out this way because we want to get enough angle to make another tack to clear all this headland. So we want to get out to about here, that's our line we put out here. Gonna tack now in a bit. Hopefully we'll be have enough angle in the wind to scoot up here. Uh, the wind is going uh, more westerly later, so we're hopefully going to be by here by the time the wind turns coming from the west, so we can head up this direction and into our anchorage in Dale, which is going to be in here to shelter from the storm tomorrow. Uh, the mechanical wind vane's been steering, it's done an absolutely fantastic job. So we're about to tack now. Can't go too far out because we've got to avoid St. Govin shoals and there's some shoals around here so we can't get too close to the land either. So yeah, got to be a bit careful. Adam's plan worked out perfectly. Right, we are just, we've made our way up the coast from Tenby and we are just entered in the Kledai Estuary, I think it's called, Milford Haven basically. We're heading for Dale to shelter from a very big, uh, well, a low pressure for the next two days. Um, yeah, so we just entered in the, the, the estuary now. We're going to use the right hand, uh, the sorry, the, star, the starboard side channel. Um, because that is for, well it's supposed to be for leisure craft, craft, even though I can see loads of leisure craft on the port side channel, so. Yeah, we're just entering it now and we are going to make our way over the deal. We've had a beautiful sail. We've been close hauled on a beam reach and now we've got the, <coughs> well, wind on the stern quarter. We've been testing Neppy and she's handled it be beautifully. All types of, all points of sail she's done wonderfully so yeah really pleased really really pleased we've arrived in dale safe yep lovely sail down it was beautiful yeah be a nice day as well isn't it yeah, yeah. that was nice it's really nice yeah so we're here now for two days yeah we're sheltering from the low pressure system that's coming in uh, that's the end of episode one, so if you enjoyed it, give us a like and subscribe and give us a thumbs up, please. And share and things like that. Yep. It's uh, very much appreciated. See you. See you. Bye. Bye.